Hey guys, Gunner Dracul97 here with Koi 2023 and my little brother. We are gonna play Perfect Dark. We are uh, we're gonna play the old time version. Now, many of you may wonder why are we playing an old time game? Well, Cloyd, explain. All right. So in this game, we're gonna go ahead and start the game here. But in this game, uh, you can disarm people. You can uh, set up the match, and the match setup is a lot more better. Then the newer games that set up multiplayer, except for like maybe Black Ops 2 and a few Call of Duty titles. But for uh, Perfect Dark, it's got the best setup in multiplayer in the year 2000 to 2010. And it still got it. It still beats all multiplayers. And no one knows of this game. So, um, depending on my opinion, actually. But uh, you can disarm uh, people, you can have secondary gun modes, not gun functions, gun modes. And uh, they are pretty cool. You can have a laptop gun and throw it across the wall. You can have uh, two, play two pay people player ca counter co-op. And in counter co-op, one uh, first player or second player could be the bad guy. That's really cool. There's a lot you can do in Perfect Dark. Challenges team set up. Basically, you can create your own game modes if you wanted to. That's how... That's how we do the zombies. Yeah. God dang it. I am the bottom left. Chloe uh -oh. is the top left. My little brother's the top right. I don't know. I didn't set the team colors. On I'm, no, I'm blue. My little brother's Magneta. And Chloe is red. I'll just look at my radar. Yeah, I'm red. Can you say my name? I already... You and if you guys ever happen to come across the username of Wintery Tax online, that will be uh, Gunner Taco 97's little stepbrother. Uh, more of a foster brother, actually. Step is when they marry. Either way. But yeah, it's actually Wintery Tax 926. We've already come across another Wintery Tax, a different number. <clears throat> but even so, um,. Now, my great views about the multiplayer is the fact that most games nowadays put you against another team of another country, which in a way would make some people really uh, racial towards another person's race or country, all because they appear in another, you know, in a video game. Which, yes, that has happened. I've dealt it with many times. You get to, you get to change, it, change up your character a little bit. Dang it! Good enough, but it's, you know, it's okay. Then you, get, you actually get to see the color of your people because, you know, most games, you're just decorated like one country and then others this. And some people might believe, oh, hey, look, we're part of the same team, even though it's free for all. Let's join, let's join together. No, this doesn't do that. You can look all different and have the same color. Oh, I just turned around and a man popped in my face. And next thing I know, I was dead. <laughs> oh, wow. And all the guns on here have a secondary mode, which I find really cool. And thirdly, their maps, and this is an old game, guys, their maps are actually pretty decent size. Yeah. See, I like Battlefield, but, I mean, at the time this was made, these are pr probably really big maps. I died. <laughs> <laughs> now, and you can also change up the controls a little bit, guys. Now, that's another cool thing. But uh, it would be cooler if, like, they had, you know, like in Star Wars Battlefront, you can change the controls to whatever you want. And it'd also be really cool, like in the conduit from the Wii, the conduit, you can set um, the HUD anywhere you want. It'd also be really cool if there was, like, character customization, gun customization, and, uh, well, map customization as well. But, you know, Perfect Dark... In a way, it has the best customization and making your own game modes. That's what it's known for. And that's what its great multiplayer experience is about. And Golden people think that GoldenEye is better. Well, Perfect Dark had so much more. And it was a game that was made before its time. So you could expect a lot from this game, even from the Xbox Live Arcade version. So, if you guys have an Xbox One, Xbox 360, just a Microsoft account in general, and want an Xbox... This is available. Go ahead and buy Perfect Dark for about around $10, and it will be the best multiplayer first-person experience you guys will ever have. And there are a few people who still play on this. Yes. Me and Chloe trolled one of them who quit the game. <laughs> yeah. Uh, one of one of the players. Uh, I don't want to do that again, though. 
I don't want to do it again, though. It was pretty... It was funny for the time being, but... A long time ago, me and Gunner joined a match when we both had gold, and we were on a console when I had one. And somebody joined online, and uh, it was only one person. We trolled him. And, yeah, we trolled him. We basically became teams because we were on split screen and kicked that person's butt instead of killing each other, so... And he quit so freaking bad. <laughs> Didn't we get a, me a rude message afterwards? No, he didn't say anything, he just left. Uh, but, um, but still though, I mean like, in these guns, I mean like, this is a pretty good game. I mean the guns in here, you have a wide variety. Isn't very near like, probably 40 guns you can choose from? There's quite a variety of guns. There's uh, futuristic human weapons, and then alien, organic alien weapons. Which is a little crazy, right? It's pretty crazy, but it's worth it. Kind of reminds me of The Conduit. That was a cool game, too. Hi! Wow. <laughs> that was crazy. Oh, crud. Oh, we gotta make this a quick match, guys. Alright, let's see how much time we have left. What's the skill on it? Uh, oh, oh, there's no team score. Once, uh, when one of the teams reaches score 70, then I will stop it, because I didn't set a team score. Ooh. Sorry, guys, my phone's actually about to die. But, who says we can't have a good time before that? Right? <laughs> oh, no. oh, crap, that was my teammate. No! No, I did not mean to kill you! <laughs> I did not- I know I mean to kill you, though. Oh, God, dang it. Yeah, we have three teams here. Winter Attacks is on one team, Gunner Tech 97 is on his own team, and I'm on my own team. Oh, my team's winning. We're nine kills away. I think one of the reasons why I'm winning is because I threw a bunch of things. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> they call me the demo man. Oh, no, go away. Go away. Don't want you. Don't want you. Go away. Dang it. Chuck them, go, go, go. Wow, can someone check the kill limit? Uh, I can't. Must be Britain. We're at 64. Okay, my team only needs six more. Yeah, my team only has 27. Surprisingly, my team's doing good. I killed someone! Yeah, but uh, the Sims, as well as the Sims in the multiplayer, which are bots, uh, in this game they're called simulants, but you can set them to, uh, from very easy, easy, normal, to hard, to very hard, to super hard, to extremely hard. And, and he's uh, not joking. Yeah. And uh, they all go in order as in meat, well, meat, easy, normal, hard, dark, and then perfect. Uh, my team only needs to get two more kills. Or is it perfect and dark? I don't, I don't know. But it's in somewhat in that order. And you can, oh, sorry. And you can give the teams, like, you can... You can have so many teams, you can have so many bots, well, up to eight bots. I know, this, that's not very many, but it's still worth playing on. Trust but, me, guys, for this, for any mode you're playing, that's the best you're going to get. And also, at the same time, it's worth it. You can also customize what the bots look like. and what. Sorry about that, guys. My phone died. I will bring you more gameplay a little bit soon. But as you guys can tell, we're going to continue playing more. But I will bring you more gameplay here soon. Enjoy!